Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Chiara and today we want to show you how we plant our living room garden. <laughs> Since we started with the idea of having a land of great to have space for a garden finally, we couldn't resist to buy all the vegetables we would see and having the idea to plant them <laughs> just because it's so much fun. So today, while we were shopping at the local, local vegetable store, everything that had roots for some reason, we felt like, okay, we're gonna get some, we're gonna get some. We're gonna... And now we are in our living room and we're gonna plant all of this great stuff and we're gonna see it growing in the next weeks. So that when we have our land, we already have something to plant in it. Oh, garlic is organic. <laughs> we love tomatoes, so next one will be the tomato. We read that we have to cut the tomato like this. And now it's so much fun. I give half to Gael because he wants to play with me. So we have to put all these little tiny seeds in here. Yes. And then the idea is putting some water to take off all this jelly that you can see around the seeds. Why do we do that? because the plants has like an information that when the jelly is in the seeds, it's not the time to grow. When they are without the jelly, they are ready to become plants. Now we have the seeds and we put them in some soil. So you're covering them now with I'm some more soil. I'm a little bit. Mm -hmm. Some water. Yeah. Sun and care. So next one up, it's the Roman lettuce. This plant looks beautiful and apparently is a cut and come again type of plant. You can have your roots already grown in this one and you cut here a little bit above where the roots are. So now this is your lettuce. This is what we're gonna eat tonight and then you get a pot and from here, you can add soil. So the roots are completely covered now. You can wash it off. This is ready to sprout. <laughs> We studied that we can have carrot seeds from a carrot. Yeah, we wanna show you how we are doing this and if you have any comments, please write it below. So we take one carrot and it's super easy, it seems. Let's see if it works. We cut it. We put some water in a pot and Let's see if some magic happens. And I pass the ball to Davide. Next thing we're planting is garlic. So this is called green garlic, I believe. And it's when the plant has already grown from the base and become this. But what we're gonna do today is gonna be to take the cloths. This again is organic garlic. Otherwise it doesn't grow apparently. So you can take, for example, four cloths of garlic and you can have some toothpicks like this, wooden sticks, kind of. You can take your garlic and plant it in between like this. You get the wood to pass through. Yay! Once you get your garlic skewer like this, almost like it's about to go on the grill, you can have it reactivated. So, you want to place it on top of a container, pour water over it, and 
the water has to reach just a little bit below the garlic. And in the beginning, in the first 48 hours, to help it grow, we will cover it and leave it to rest. Check it again in two days. For me, the leek is like a special onion and yes, we want uh, leek seeds. We do like this, we cut here, more or less. I know that normally this part you can eat it, but we will use it to, to make seeds. We put some water. And you see that it has many tiny roots and we will uh, give the idea to the leek that it's time to leave. It's time to leave again. No, without the leek. <laughs> <laughs> Growing again, like this. And we will have some seeds. Deep fried, steamed in the oven. You can't go wrong with potatoes. <laughs> and surprisingly, they're one of the most easy things that you can grow in your house. So let's check it out. All we need to do is to put some water inside a container. Yes, that. And then you place your potato. This one has already germinated a little bit. That means that the plant will come out of here. So we can place the potato in the water. Actually, we want the germinated part to be in the air. And that's it. The plant is going to come out of here and give you seeds. The fresh onion is the same as the leek. So we cut it here more or less. We put some water. And the roots. And we wait. <laughs> and it will grow again. Make a beautiful flower and then the seeds. With the onions it's really easy. It's Pouring water, cutting, and waiting. It seems really easy. We'll show you in a few videos. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I knew the camera was there. I set it up. Tara <laughs> is filming me. But thank you, so, thank you so much for watching. We had fun planting these vegetables and we're very curious to see how they turn out. It's the first time we do it. But this is the way we know to prepare for having the land. We're gonna have some plants already started. We're gonna get some new seeds that we can use once we get there. And maybe it can inspire you to make a garden in your own living room. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for coming along. Peace out.